Hey, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day to you today. I hope everybody is enjoying their holiday. I'm going to go ahead and show you another part of that video that I had with my daughter. Racism because is still around, which we know it is, but it's also a thing called colorism, where light is against dark and this, that, and the third, and then the media wants to show light skin versus dark skin. It's such a crazy thing. So, you know, I know Martin wouldn't like that. Martin Luther wouldn't like that. That that we actually have come against each other. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other part of my video. Feel about him saying she doesn't appear black but she's still a black woman that, you know, what did you think about that? Um, it, it was interesting, yeah. right, right. Uh, well, at least, they, at least they, you know, they mentioned it, they spoke on it. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people, they probably feel like, oh, well, I understand why she was like going to all these extremes and stuff to mm -hmm. blame black from like Canada tell, but it's like- True, true. You, you might as well, you know, like if she still experiences certain things, like as I, as you can see, like the propaganda just got on her and you can't even tell. So yeah, you might as true. well just uh, accept the representation of it. Who, it's hard for them to speak up for us. We can speak up for ourselves but sometimes other people will listen if you have another person speak up for us especially a man and then being a I think he's all white is he yeah. like a blue blood I, I want to say he must be a blue blood okay one thing I want to ask my daughter is have you ever experienced racism and I mean she's 19 and you're 19 years of living you ever experienced racism from another race another race um it, it's, was it microaggression, micro? Yeah, like, I feel like a lot of like um, racism nowadays is kind of microaggression. It's just for like, like certain energies you could tell where it's just like, mm -hmm. you kind of don't feel wanted, but it's just yeah. like- Yeah, okay. You feel me? It's not like they, they're gonna do much. Kind of accept it and just kind of live. They with it. navigate through it, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, do, do I talk to you guys about race a lot? Or what, mm. what do I do? Cause you know, I date outside my race. I'm multicultural, but <laughs> you know, that, that's by default. I mean, <laughs> it's like by default, so. Um, race, I don't know. I feel like we just, by the police. Yeah, I feel like that was main that's our big thing. Yeah, yeah, biggest discussion in the household. Yeah, is like what to do with that type type of thing or um, true or extreme racism. What to do in that situation? Not just like everyday type, you know. Have yeah. you ever um, experienced racism within your own people? Like maybe male people, like, like, like colorism. Okay, colorism. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Have you ever experienced colorism? Because um, we're close to the same color, Ken Ken. Have you ever experienced like that camera? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever experienced colorism? Um, yeah, yeah, actually. More, more than racism? Um, yeah, surprisingly, yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, by by who? Uh, it it comes from just uh, males, you know, just uh, black uh, black men. They just I don't know. It's hard to explain. Really, I feel like they they view um like other black women too closely to their mother so they probably like don't oh. don't, don't want to be well, in, like you know okay with that. okay that makes sense so it's like it's that always interesting sense. like seeing men like you know how, how they have to talk about black women but okay that makes sense it's it's been digressing you know they're yeah. really becoming a trend on tiktok so good good you know when is a win <laughs> yeah yeah that's good see i didn't even know that you guys you guys we just learned something together right i didn't know that okay the element okay. of that conversation that me and my daughter had was talking about me how i date out of my race so yes 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 so i actually wanted to get her opinion on what she thought about um, this I feel like that, I mean, how did you feel when I dated people that were not black? Um, I, I never really had a problem with it. It's just, you know, you, you like, you like, you know. Right. 
set. Yes. Did they seem authentic or was it more of a fetishism or what is it called? <laughs> Where you just want a black girl because you never had one or something. Want to um, date one or want to know about their culture and stuff. After, after like certain like experiences that she would tell me, it did like some of them didn't seem as genuine as like, yeah. like I like you it was more like fetishizing like. Try, trying to get the experience versus like liking you as a person. Right. I feel true. like a lot of, you know, a lot of people on the outside view black women like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's true. Do you feel, I, I mean, I think I've had know. some, I'm on all my friends. It's like, how long, girl? How many, <laughs> how many, you be, how, how many you talking about? No, but um, I think that, I don't know. I, I could tell after a while from being with them that they get to, um, I don't know. I can't. It's hard. They haven't <laughs> been through the same things like some of my male counterparts may have been through. Like they do things reckless and don't care where we have to watch out more. Mm -hmm. You know, I had one friend, you know, he'll drive and speed and this and that. And he don't care about the police. And they stop, you know, they haven't stopped him. But I asked him, have you ever had a ticket or even been pulled over? And he's like, oh, no. I'm like, never? He's like, no. And I'm like, what? And you're like 40-something, never been pulled over? He's all, no. So then, you know, when it's about to end, that's when these conversations come out. Like, have you ever, you know, been in jail? Obviously, if you haven't been in police contact, have you ever been in jail? Have you ever had a ticket? And he's all like, no, no, not really, nothing. I'm like, so you haven't had anything happen right, to you? Any experiences. Yeah, any experiences, you know, to be 40 something, that's like really good, you know. And I dated one that knew about white privilege, but another one that just did not see it as white privilege, you know, but it is like white privilege. And if that's something that I do want to talk about, Harry said, you know, Megan has told him that, like, that's white privilege. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I didn't know, you know, but at least he was willing to recognize it. Like, no, no, what are you talking about? Right. He was willing to say, yeah, okay, I guess I have had white privilege. And if they're willing, if they're willing, if they're willing to recognize it and address it, then definitely they're willing to change it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the main thing I wanted to talk about. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. You know, yeah. when I have to bring Ken Ken, I have to bring the brain. I feel like even if that's your pinky and the brain, I'm not pinky, but she's definitely the brain, you know. So I have to bring my daughter Kennedy, and I appreciate you so much for being on the show. Thank All right. So then, you guys, you heard from a newer generation of a beautiful, young, intelligent woman what she feels about what's going on. Like she said, it is starting to digress digress a little bit we've come a long way but we still got a ways to go so i want you guys to enjoy the rest of your holiday and until then i'll see you next time